Good morning from Thailand. My name is Les. I'm here to describe my recycle method which I placed on YouTube a couple of months ago. It's had six and a half thousand hits and many of the comments want to know how I go about it or how I suggest going about it with regard to transfer fees and one thing and another. As I stated in that video <coughs> that I made I actually don't do the 65,000 baht a month into my account anymore because I've gone to the marriage visa. Um, I've done this basically because I'll, I live on, it used to be 45,000 baht per month but now I've put it up to 50,000 baht per month because of the exchange rate and one thing and another. So my method was a recycle method. So before I used to live on 45,000 <coughs> and I needed to show 65,000 so there was a 20,000 baht a month shortfall. So my suggested way was the recycle method. I'm going to give you some figures based on UK pound. I can't do it on Australian or American figures because their banking systems might slightly vary from the UK banking system. So because I was asked so many times about how much it's going to cost and ways and means of doing it, I actually looked into it and I came up with this um, information I'm going to give you today. So the exchange rates were based on the day that I went to the bank. The exchange rates with the pound at present is stupid. It goes up and down, up and down so many times. It's the lowest it's ever been now at, at 39.72. Ridiculous. But never mind, here we go. So the costs of transferring 60, the equivalent cost of 65,000 baht to my bank account in Thailand using TransferWise, which is one of the cheapest ways of transferring money, that would cost £10.18 pence in charges to transfer 65,000 from pounds over to Thai baht. As I said, I only transfer 50,000 baht per month to live on because that's what I need to live on. I don't need any more than 50,000 baht. So the cost of transferring 50,000 baht is £8.21 per month to do it one time per month. So roughly it would cost £2 extra a month to transfer 65,000 baht across every month using TransferWise. So I'll put that £2 on to the figures as to how much it's going to cost per month. So bear with me. I'm going to put some photographs up of the information that I'm saying. So you can actually pause the video and you can look at the information because it's all wrote down. So the exchange rate using at the time of this video was to buy Thai baht, it was 40.15 and to sell Thai baht to UK pound was 42.55 baht to the pound. So my bank is the Bangkok Bank and I use that for transferring my money from UK over to Thailand because it shows transfer wise as an international transfer is what the immigration department wants so that that's fine that works okay. My suggestion if you're going to be transferring 20,000 baht per month back to the UK is don't use the same bank that you transfer the money into because then this might flag up to the immigration department. But bearing in mind, it's your money. You can do exactly what you want with it. People are, are scared that if the immigration see that you send some money back to England, <clears throat> why are you doing this? So for ease of doing everything else, not to say that it's illegal what you're doing, because it isn't, it's your money, you, you're allowed to spend as much as you want, wherever you want. Uh, for instance, I have credit cards over in England, so I book my flights, etc, etc, using my credit cards. So obviously I still need money in England to pay my credit cards off, but that's just one example. So I would suggest using a, a different bank account to transfer the money back to the UK transfer it over to your wife's account and then she can do the transfers. It doesn't matter really but using the example of 20,000 baht. So the Bangkok Bank, I went down to there the other day and they told me that they would charge me 
1,150 baht to transfer 20,000 baht back to my bank account in England. And obviously their exchange rate isn't very good. So their exchange rate was 42.55 to the pound. Also the Bangkok Bank, where I bank, there is a Western Union outlet. So if I transferred the same 20,000 baht using Western Union to my bank account in England, that's 650 baht. So quite a substantial saving, just about half the price of what Bangkok Bank were going to charge. And it was the same exchange rate at 42.55. So the loss of exchange rate in 20,000 baht compared to how, how much you bought it for is 28 pounds. So you would lose 28 pounds exchanging the 28, uh, the 20,000 baht back to UK pounds. If we use the exchange, rate that the Bangkok bank charge, that's 1,150, that's also 28 pounds. So to do that, that would be 56 pounds per month using the Bangkok bank to send back home 20,000 baht. Plus the two pounds extra it's gonna cost you to transfer that 20,000 baht extra every month. So in total, that's 58 pounds per month to do the recycle method. It sounds quite a lot of money, but bear with me, please. If you used Western Union, you would also lose £28 in the exchange rate, changing it from baht back to pounds. But their transfer fee is £16. So in total, plus the £2, that would be £46 per month to use that method, using Western Union, transferring money back over to your UK bank account. People have suggested using an agent. Yeah, you can use an agent, no problem. But I've been told many different prices with agents. The cheapest that I've been told was 15,000 baht to go through the retirement visa. Up to 28,000 baht per application for a retirement visa. So, my argument on using my recycle method or using an agent. With an agent, if you go into immigration office to sign on or to do your 90 day reporting, they may ask to see your bank book. I've been quoted, they're gonna ask one or two people in every 100 interviews for 90 day reporting to see their account. If they do that, and you've used an agent, you're obviously straight away suspect because if you can't keep the money in for the three months after or you're under the 400,000, how do you show that to the immigration officer if you're using an agent? So I've also been told if you use an agent for getting your retirement visa, if you do your 90 days, you have to go to them and they will do the 90 days at an additional cost. How, how true that is, I don't know, but there's many, many rumours going around at the minute for various reasons. <coughs> so the fear is with using an agent is that you may be asked at any time to reduce your bank book to show where your money is if you have the 800,000 bar method. With this recycling, you've got no fear. You just show them your bank book and it's there in black and white, 65,000 bar a month sleep at night, don't have to worry about knock on the door, somebody come to say, let's see your bank book, let me see the money, where's the money gone, and all the, the trouble that that may cause. So going back onto the monthly costs, the monthly costs for using Bangkok Bank, 58 pounds a month. That works at 13 pounds 38 weekly. To do it with the Western Union works out at £10.61 per week. And doing it with the agent, £7.17 works out. With that, that's if you do a weekly cost of how much it's going to cost a year. So the difference between an agent and the next cheapest method is £3 a week. Is it worth £3 a week to be able to sleep at night? I think so. 
it's not cheap. I know it's not cheap and it's not free. But then again, living in Thailand is never free. But like me, if you're living on 50,000 baht a month, it equates to another two and a half thousand baht a month, roughly. So two and a half thousand baht a month, that's maybe one or two nights out a month. So it's a small price to pay to be able to do it 100% legal. You're not cheating the system. You are showing that you have 65,000 baht a month, but you can live on 50 or 45,000 baht a month. There's some people live on even less than 45,000 baht a month that I know. But it's a legal way. You can sleep at night, don't have to worry about it. Again, these, this may change with regard to the Australian or the, the Americans or Canadians, whoever's going to use this system, but it is a way of doing the system. Like I said earlier on, I am on the marriage visa. I'll do another video with that as to why I failed four times and I'm going on my fifth trip now to the immigration in, in another two months time but I'll explain about that in another video also I will do another video on how I live on 50,000 baht a month look at the surroundings where I am it's a nice area I live in a nice house in a nice village in a nice area I'm just 10 or 15 minutes away from a stunning beautiful island of course I met we still have our holidays, I run a car, run a motorbike. All of this can be done on 50,000 baht a month. But please watch another video. For the 6,500 people that have looked at my 100% legal visa solution, if anybody else has found a cheaper way than what I've just stated on my video, please write it down in the comments and let other people know. It's a worry to many, many people living in this country. Many, many people have said they're going to leave this country and move to a Cambodia or Vietnam or Laos or Burma. They're still going to have their problems. If you like Thailand, it's worth jumping through a few more hoops to live here. So from Les, retired, still living the dream. Until the next time, have a good day.